Making a living in Brooksdale isn't easy. Between the swindlers, racketeers, and two-bit thugs, there's not much coin to be had for an honest thief. Luckily, I'm going on something of an excursion tonight. A reliable fence set me up with a well-paying job for an anonymous benefactor who wants me to liberate some trinket he has laid claim to. The item in question is a pearl amulet which is supposedly shrouded in mystery. It was recently acquired by one Cordelia Harrington in the neighboring borough Clifton Grove. Since being widowed a few years ago, Lady Harrington has made a name for herself throwing lavish events entertaining the high-born elite of Bridgeport. A city wall with a hefty wooden gate makes sure the Brooksdale filth doesn't spill over to Clifton at night, but luckily, some local entrepreneurs have found another way in. For a small fee, a broken sewer pipe will take me to a tavern called the Smiling Boar, which is a favored watering hole for the local individuals of ill repute, where I'm sure I'll blend in. From there, I will need to navigate the streets to the south to find the manor Harrington. The night shift in Clifton is well armed organized and notorious for stabbing first and asking questions later, so I'll need to be careful. Word has it, Madam Harrington is something of a collector of interesting and valuable items, so the place will no doubt be guarded, but I'm not going to let that stop me from grabbing a few keepsakes. I have my target, a rough map of the area, and my bits. It's time to head out. Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Mind. Tonight we're going to be playing Chronicles of Skullduggery, Pearls and Swine. This will officially be my first mission on the 2.06 update. Um, yeah, it's 64-bit now, and I've had to limit the speed to 60 frames per second because you can exceed that. And when I exceeded it and tested it on a map, it went well above. So hopefully this is much more optimized than it used to be. And if that's the case, we can look forward to some smooth gameplay going forward. Anyways, what's the difference between these? Oh, it looks like Master, we have some different ones. But it just looks like, is it just violence? Don't let any guards and servants get a good look at you. Oh, don't even be seen. Well, that's not going to work out very well for me, is it? But anyways, let's just go middle of the road and see how much we can get to m from Madam Harrington, shall we? I'm sure it should be an adventure. I have to buy stuff. Oh, dear lord. Uh, water arrows for the most part. Always with the water arrows. What's in the moss arrow? I don't use them nearly as much as I should. And then I'll watch broadheads because why not just spend all my money? I'm going to be making a lot tonight. Right? Ooh. So I'm guessing this is the hole leading into the sewer. Why do I always have to go to the sewer? Why not the Thieves Highway? It's not as dirty up there for the most part. Yeah, that's that's not ominous at all. Um, well, shit. Uh, <laughs> this bodes well. This is a very, very circular tunnel. I mean, this is some very good architecture for uh, the, the skill that they normally have. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Rayette? Oh, isn't that strange? I thought I locked the frames per second, but I didn't. So right now I'm getting 150, 159, 160 frames per second. Interesting. That fucking rules. Also, I should probably... Can I... Can I not get out this way? Do I have a... I don't think I have a, a rope arrow. 
There seems to be a problem here. Oh, there we go. I had to stand up. Okay. Well, I'm coming up directly through the privy. That doesn't seem like it's well designed, but okay. It's not how toilets normally work with one huge pipe. We have a good time tonight, boys. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad for me. I have to actually use my tools. I'm sure they don't. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Let's make sure everything I have is on the correct key. Since the change. Okay, good. Let's just go upstairs. Um, I actually I don't know why I used that. I don't know if they give a shit. You know, what? let's go find out if they give a shit. Yeah, they they, they don't even give a shit. What you boys doing? This looks like tarot cards. Don't, don't let me stop you. Uh, Dark Tale of Thievery. Garrett. Now who would have wrote this? Oh, this is a song. I no, no. You oh. Yeah, he sounds like you're kind of fellow, and you're very quiet. How you doing? You would never be Garrett, would you? I was just listening to your song. He's not singing it, he's just playing it for some reason. Kind of strange. I wish you got a dagger on you, lady. Uh, I wonder if I can pill for this establishment. Probably not. Aw, oh, you don't have any money back here. Oh, good wine. Oh, there we go. None of you see anything. Damn it, I can't even hear. Did, did, I think it deleted. Do you mind? I'm trying to pick this lock. There we go. Totally stealthy. Uh, hi, how you doing? Cash box key. Well, I don't need that now, do I? Pottage. Real stuck. Well, thank you. All right. Okay, you have my respect. You had the one good wine. I didn't. I didn't take nothing. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm. I'm gonna leave. I can go right out the front door. Well, that's interesting. Let's look what's upstairs first. So I guess this is the end. Bridgeport Review. Gambling Den ousted. Beast Joe Mauling in Bexgate. Where's Bexgate? Yeah, I can go into, into room one. If the key's here, that most likely means there's nobody there. Room occupancy. I kind of knew that because the key was here. Baker Esquire. Tea and crumpets in the morning. Cleaning service at 10. Will make his own dinner arrangements. Check out on 20th in the morning. Room 3, sweet. Lord Lethalem? I probably butchered that. Plus wife. Only staying overnight. Will dine in pub tomorrow morning before heading east to Brooksdale. Godspeed. Do not disturb under any circumstances after sundown. Oh my. Oh my. I'm sure it's fine. Can I take the paintings? No, of course not. Ooh, hey, how you doing? Can I have that? Thank you. You're so kind. So the drawer. Can I get that? An intruder. No. What? How am I an intruder? You know what? No. Stay right here. You're gonna oh. sleep here tonight. Dick. Alright. Now where were we? We are just going to uh what did I pick up? The innkeeper's book. After we were so rudely interrupted. Weekly expenditures, foodstuffs, week's incomes. Fiscal commentary. Oh my, aren't you fancy? Why are we not turning a profit on food sales in the pub? 
This is the third week in a row with such dismal results. I'm starting to consider scrapping the kitchen in favor of a private room for larger parties. Bilden knows there are plenty of loose associates in this part of town. Furthermore, Molly has brought the number of brawls in the tavern down significantly. A good thing, too, since the cash register is right behind the bar. Got it. Her temper and her blade make her a great barkeep, but cook she cannot. Her pottage is a horrendous mess. How can you fail to make such a simple dish? The profit on the drinks is looking strong. Pardoning our Bridgeport swill as fine western wine seems to be working. With the kind of clientele we have, I'm not surprised. Finally, we should add to the room parchments to keep it civil. We can't be throwing out bed linens all the time if we expect to make a profit. Okay, dirty, dirty customers you have, huh? There's a big pot of stew, dude. And up there. Nothing in there. Oh. I know this trick. Stop that. I know this. Stop that. I know this trick. Acquired hidden bookkeeping. Oh my. Current use of in safe. Uh, Lord Gafford, a jeweled scepter. Ooh. Mr. Baker, Esquire, assorted jewelry. Remember to put the safe key in the most natural spot in the office. So there's a key somewhere in this office. Who does this Jack Blade Jones think he is? Increasing the fee every week? He's bleeding me dry, and he hasn't even shanked me yet. If he raises me again, I swear on my dear mother, I will call in favors with some equally unsavory patrons, and he'll regret coming over to my side of the wall with his relentless racketeering. Maybe one should, or rather, maybe I should approach Cornwell on the other side of the street. Surely he has fallen victim to this buggery as well. Uh, probably not a good idea there, buddy. Most obvious place. Well, wasn't wrong. I don't see a jeweled scepter. I don't know what the date is. They might have already clocked out. Clocked out? Checked out. Oh, uh, actually, let me put you out. This goes out on the street as well. Okay. Sure, why not? Well, I have the key to room one. That's room three. Let's start there, shall we? Room one. It is most definitely empty. Seriously? Okay. Footlocker instructions. Welcome to the Smiling Ball Inn. This is your personal footlocker for any loose valuables to keep nearby. For storage of larger or more important valuables, please speak to our concierge about storage in our safe. To use your footlocker, simply use the complimentary key placed on your bedside table. Please be aware that the misplacement of your complimentary key incurs a penalty of 15 gold. Signed, management. That is an expensive key. That is a very expensive key. You think he'd have copies downstairs as well. Apparently he does not. Right. Oh, I can't steal the paintings. Hi. I don't know why it stopped. Oh, it hit that. Okay. That's uh, awkward. Something moved. Nothing moved. You guys are crazy. You have... Sword. What did I see there? I didn't see nothing. Is someone there? Oh. He just stabbed me in the damn face. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to knock him out. That's fine, that's fine. Hoop. You see nothing. What am I supposed to do? What did I see there? I don't understand how they're seeing me. I shouldn't be in the light. I don't understand. I, mean, I could put out that light, but that'd be kind of a waste of an arrow. 
Look at my light gem right now. This is what it was last time. And yet he can't see me right now. If my light gem doesn't change, then how is he seeing me? What made that sound? Nothing made that sound. Shut up. Just gonna steal your stuff. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Wilkes? Wilkes, is that you? Oh, you had some gold underneath there, did you? Oh, shit. There's nobody here. Don't worry about it. Let's get out of here. Ooh. My light gem works. You just saw it got get lighter. You just saw it got lighter. That is exactly what I was about to say. Okay. Um. All right. Seems safe. Seems safe. This is the sweet. Sweet, sweet, you gotcha. Oh, she's just asleep. The oh, you just want peace and quiet. Well, you'll sleep too. I thought it was something naughty. Not that I was looking for that, but that's what I thought. I mean, kind of strange that you guys would keep it on uh, your bedside. After you put valuables in there, but okay, sure. Well, I mean that that's that's an expensive gold ingot to be fair, but I was expecting more. Okay. All right, there were guards right outside, I think, right? Because that looked like the the front of the establishment. So let's see if we can go out. Bah entrance. Uh, I should probably put that way. Don't mind me, boys. I don't have a weapon, what are you talking about? Ah, much darker out here. Uh, kind of, sort of. How are you doing there? Looks like at least you're eating. Oh my god. Lordwell Esquire Proprietor? Cockwit. Oh. Language. Whatever this is, it's locked. Oh, that's the guy he was talking about that might be, uh, that might help him out with, uh, him being shafted on protection money. For some reason, I thought it was the same name as the, uh, oh gosh. Uh, let's save here. <laughs> Hello? Alright, let's finish this. You see nothing, I'm not here. If I sit here, everything will be fine, right? Uh, I thought it was the same uh, name as the guy that was the innkeeper. He's, he's not gonna. You know I'll find you sooner or later. Ha! Found well, I mean, this. you missed. <laughs> Ow! Are you gonna come by? Or? There he is. All right. Can't even hear my footsteps. Huh? Okay, I got stuck on the door frame. That's happening a lot. Whoa, what am I doing? Back up there, boy -o. Going in. See, he can't see me right now, but if I have the same light gem at any other time, he can see me. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. Can you get out from the door? Thank you. Can I have the key? Thank you. Quad Conway's key. Ooh, fancy. Dear Mr. Jackablade, of course, I wish to continue my insurance policy with your organization. I'm well aware that during my recent lapse in payment, your protection was withdrawn, which allowed for the unfortunate vandalizing of my building. 
I value your protection greatly, and as a show of good faith, I have added a bit of extra gold to this week's payment. I placed it in our previously agreed upon location, above my bedroom window awning, at the top of the stairs. Yours, Cornwall, Esquire, Proprietor, and Shopkeep. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you don't pay your protection money. And, uh, why you... Oh, what was that? Threatening letter. Oi, Cornwell! The way I see it, you better call for the protection fee. Be a shame if something else bad would have happened to your fine store, here. The orphan boys from Brooksdale like to come over and throw a few rocks sometimes. That's what I hear, anyways. Jack Blake Jones. Well, he sounds like a right ass. Which means he probably is. I'll take that. So, this be the shop, does it? Is this? Transactions. Uh, business has been going fairly slow this past week. Unfortunately, that blagger Jack Blade Jones is at my doorstep again demanding his protection money. Uncultured swine. I have no choice but to comply. I can't keep having the place vandalized. Not only are repairs costly, but it scares customers away as well. At least I still have my fine gold vases. I can sell for a pretty penny. They are my only work as of now. That sucks. Do you make them yourself, or are they the only thing that sell? Because I'm sure um, people have to buy a lot of them if uh, there's thieves around. It's easy to pick up and hawk them, if you know what I mean. Speaking of gold vases, uh, wh where is the, the vases? Alright, so the front door is locked. Let's leave it that way. Wait, what? Okay. So I guess as far as getting the protection money, I have to find his window. So it's up there somewhere? How do I get up there? How does Jack Blade Jones get up there? Yeah, it's definitely up there, but I don't have a rope arrow. If I had a broadhead, doesn't help, but if I had a... Ooh, I... Hmm, what's moving? Nothing. Now these moving. Well, Gordon, sorry about this, but you're gonna have to take a nap in the alleyway because I'm busy. I'm, I'm working tonight. I know you're working tonight as well, but I. Ooh. Oh, I can't pick it up. I was gonna say stackable boxes? No. Okay, jump up there. Hmm. 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 Nothing. Maybe up this way, guy. Ah! Nice wind chimes. I like them. Whoa, whoa. This is not safe. There we go. Uh. Where's the payment? Well, I got a. I got a, uh. I got a secret. That is not on correctly at all. That's sideways. Oh, careful. Well, he doesn't necessarily live up here, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, it was right there. I passed right by it. Right there. Thank you. 50 gold. I'm sure you can sell a candlestick or a vase for that amount. Oh, sorry, kitty. Jeez, wasn't gonna hurt you. If anything, I would I would have petted you. Moors go home. Well, wow, damn, a little bit of racism in your universe. What's this? Hello, anybody in here? Always fancy in here. I likes the wood look. Let's uh, put the light out in case somebody comes in. Nothing in the garbage. William's Journal. 16th of May, 1534. By the Builder, I have finally returned safely to the shores of civilization again. 
Father has kindly acquired this tenement for me as I start the next chapter of my life. I know I shall miss the salt in the air, the simplicity of military life and the thrill of the high seas combat against pirates and other scum. But it is true that I need to find a more suitable line of work for a man of my years. All my adventuring at sea has not allowed me to settle down and grow family of my own. For like the steady tick of the clock in my study, so too does my own life slowly tick away. My heart does have someone in mind to fill this void, the fair maiden Annabelle next door. I had a chance to make conversation with her at market one day, but I found myself suddenly stricken with a form of timidness. I have looked into the eyes of fearsome pirates, swords locked, but never have I felt so powerless as when I looked into Annabelle's eyes. It is a strange thing, love, how I wish to turn back the hands of time and have another chance with Annabelle, this time with the courage of a Navy officer. Good luck with that, man. I wish you all the luck. Can you pull books? Yeah, like a secret stash somewhere? Your plant's dead, by the way. That is a hell of a deal. Hopefully you got that in a stud, otherwise that's not going to hang for long. Ooh, golden cup. I, okay, I guess that was a secret. Come on, at least let me steal the frames. That has no handle, so I don't think it'll open. Whoa. Okay. That was going to open the other way. Guess not. Sleep with your sword? I guess military life. Ooh, there we go. Military life dies hard. So what you got in here? Nothing on your person. Well, thank you for your patronage. Uh, by the way, across the street at the store, you can buy other golden vases in case you wanted more, so. Right. Two secrets so far. I feel like I'm going to find all of them. I won't, but I feel like I'm going to. Right on the shovel. Make it nice and loud. So everybody knows I'm here. Ooh. How you doing over there? Sir! You can't see me, right? Okay, he's turned around. I guess I've read the one newspaper I need to read for the day. Right, I'm clear, right? Probably would have had two guards if I hadn't knocked out the one that I already did. So this is the end? Smiling boar, that's it, okay. I wonder if there's something up there. Heh. <sighs> nice. Ooh, what's this? Lockbox up here? Open it all the way. There we go. Kind of strange there's a lockbox all the way up here. But okay. I mean, I like money. Well, that's fair. Now, Hi. You. you think you're um, smart, huh? Awkward. Uh, Ow! Good lord! That was right in the face, dude! Okay, well. This time we won't blunder out into the front view of the guard. Uh, yeah. I can barely see you. I, I have to remember, I can't hold it down. I always thought I had to, but I don't. There he goes. Nice. 
During the time of Mayfair, we'll be seeing a complete company of near ten of the best rope dancers, vaulters, and tumblers in the known world, who are all excellent in their several performances and do such wonderful and surprising things as the whole world cannot parallel. What? Oh <gasps> god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in! 